getting into the hot time of the year. It's much more likely we're going to see off-target movement, so we've got to start thinking of ways to maybe tighten it in just a little more so we, don't, we just don't have um, the kind of drift we, we're starting to see in a few fields because uh, we, we really can't, can't stand for that to happen. So some things to consider. I've heard some folks talk about they don't think they're getting as good a control with the large droplet tips, the TTIs. Uh, and we're, we're experimenting, maybe looking at, at using some of the um, tips that put out smaller fines. We cannot afford to do that. We need to stick with what's on the label. Uh, the Turbo T-Jet induction nozzle uh, is, is definitely one of them. And, and, and I've done a lot of research with this nozzle compared to a flat fan with Ingenium, with Extendamax, and I've never seen a difference on, on control. But I have seen a big difference on, on the drift profile. Uh, another one you can use is the Wilger DR. Uh, nozzle. I think it's a 10 that's labeled. Um, this one will do a really good job with those pulse width modulation sprayers, um, but stick with the nozzles. That's one of the most critical things we can do to keep this, these products in place. Uh, you know, the other thing is really observe the label of what you're putting in the tank. Only put things in the tank that are on the label, uh, nothing else. There's things we can put in the tank that just by happenstance are going to make those products like Ingenia and Extendamax much more volatile than they normally would be. Um, and areas where we do have some drift on some fields, we need neighbors to kind of talk to each other and start planning where we go forward. Uh, in some cases, I think, you know, especially if we got cotton and we've drifted on a neighbor before, go with Liberty on that follow-up application to take out those escapes that maybe got through the Ingenia or the Extendamax application. In soybeans, hopefully we don't have to come back, but often we, we might. Uh, and a, cu a couple things to consider are um, We've done enough research now that we're seeing that when we spray Ingenia, we spray Extendamax, and we have escapes that are still persistent two weeks, maybe three weeks out, they're still struggling. Uh, some of the stuff we've done, they grow, you know, typical pigweed will grow three inches a day this time of year. The ones struggling from Ingenia or Extendamax are growing around three inches in five days, so they're slow. They're nothing like a, a traditional pigweed. I think we could probably stomp on them in a lot of cases, and we've got some research that would suggest that uh, application of Flexstar would take out those escapes. So we may want to consider going to a Flexstar application uh, near, near some fields where we maybe have drifted uh, onto a neighbor. Um, we've got to start thinking of doing things like this, little things we've never had to consider before, and tailoring what herbicide we spray and how the sprayer is set up for each given field instead of just one blanket application reaches all, because uh, we cannot afford to continue drifting on, on neighbor's fields.